guys my updated routine <laughs> guys welcome back to another vlog um i'm in a rush today because i applied to go to a woman and sponsorship event at somerset house and it didn't get back to me until literally an hour before saying that i could come because it wasn't in my diary i didn't know about it and i wanted to go there tomorrow to work from there like i don't have any meetings planned but my dad said which one's like most beneficial to you so that's probably the event so just go to the event so i'm literally just i'm gonna do like light makeup just do my brows but i'm actually aware that this camera might actually die so i'm just only going to put a bit of concealer underneath my eyes to make me look a bit awake and hopefully i'm able to build like a good connection and meet people that work in sponsorships for sponsorships i actually worked more on sponsorships when i was working on music week like working on sponsors with the awards and partnerships so that's like my experience so far but because i want to do more of artists i'm going to try and meet new people my camera's about to die i will see you when i get there hi guys oh my god i thought i was actually vlogging but this is the makeup i've done for today very very quick i need to be at the house now so i'm just going to pack my bag i know it's going to rain soon so i'm just going to take my trench of a hood i wish i could take my vlog camera but i need to get batteries for this so i can actually have them on charge but this is the makeup nothing too crazy nice natural glam and i'll see you soon because my camera is about to cut cut out <laughs> see you guys soon and on that note um i mean obviously we do try to be quite topical with our panel. hi guys apologies for not vlogging i was literally networking and it actually was a nice event just to hear how people work from different parts of the industry specifically in sponsorships I feel like sponsorships, you don't really meet as many people that work in there unless you go to events like this. So I'm grateful for Somerset House for letting me know that this is on. And now I'm on my way home. It is literally nine nearly nine o'clock. I want to make sure I get this train. This is a straight train home. And then tomorrow I don't have to come into Somerset House because I've already been in today. And I can rest and do some more work from home. Maybe that was the plan that was supposed to be. I literally forgot about this event. Like I honestly saw the notification like an hour and a half before it started and I was like, I've got to go to this. So even though I work from home today, I'm still going to work from home until I go back in to London on Thursday because there's a networking event. So I'm trying to get a few meetings in. I've met a few people today. So I'm going to be messaging people and connecting with people. That is the Good morning, everyone. I apologise for not picking up my vlog camera yesterday. Hold on. I apologise for not picking up my vlog camera yesterday. I wasn't as busy much during the early part of the day. I had a meeting quickly at 2 o'clock. And then in the evening, I joined like this um, creative freelance um, webinar from America just to actually understand like how they do like freelancing in the states and how to get new business and clientele and work with brands which was really really insightful and I wrote some notes about it today it is a packed day because it's International Women's Day and International Women's Day is on the 7th this year and there's two events I'm going to I'm going to the hold on This is going in the bin. This is awful. I'm going to the YouTube um, Black and Social Fix Future, Sci Future Insiders event. And it starts at 11. So it's literally like nearly 9 o'clock. Um, and then after I'm going to the Mixtape Madness with the Debrief Woman in a music panel event in the evening at Royal Albert Hall. So it's a packed day. It's a good day to like network and connect and meet new people. So that is exactly what I need. I wrote down a list of everything that I want to do in March and networking and meeting new people from different industries was one of them. So I'm just literally getting ready right now. I don't think I'm going to do like a lot of makeup, but I just want to look like I'm not dying. <laughs> Because I literally, I think I went to bed at like 9 o'clock and I still feel a bit um, tired, like I don't get it. Like I'm never normally like this tired. Sometimes I feel like when you oversleep and have too much sleep is also a bad thing, so maybe that is the case. But I did, didn't really feel like I had a great sleep to be fair. Um, I'm doing the no makeup makeup look today because 
I don't really feel like wearing foundation. Um, where is my... Do you know what I've lost, actually? I've actually lost my... Um, my triangle puff but i'm going to use the chem powder today so i'm going to use the round puff but that's super annoying and then i'm going to put some liquid blush on i really want to eat as well before this so like literally have some oats there is going to be food at the event but i don't know what time and i am so grumpy when i don't have breakfast so i definitely need to actually eat before i leave so i don't feel hungry when i get there then because i'm there the whole day i'm literally going to like find somewhere to eat or if i see anyone i know there because i don't know anyone i know that's going today they do it during the day so um I was going to tell my sister to come along, but she's got lectures all day today, so she can't make it. I think we normally do it during the day as well, to be fair. Oh, gosh, I'm so tired. Why? I just feel, like, so drained. At least it's not raining. We have to think of the positive things of this life, because in the UK, it could ruin everything. UK weather is so unpredictable like you might have a nice day planned out and because it's raining you don't even want to do anything anymore because it just ruins the whole mood so I need to wash my makeup brushes you know because I'm using a brush that is just not suitable for like around my face but I use this to do nose contour but it's just way too hold on it is way too Small for the rest of my face. Oh gosh, I'm in there. Making a mess, are we? Ooh. I kind of feel like I'm gonna get, I've um, got a lot done this week because I feel like sometimes, like when I'm at home, like a lot of my job is like emails, emails back to back, back and forth like you're not sure when things are going to come in so much people are getting back to you and saying like thank you for letting us know like we'll let you know like of any future opportunities to work together and it's nice that to be fair like even getting back to me but then you don't always know like when that is so as a freelancer or when you have your own business you kind of like always have to think of like about savings in mind like if you get paid a great month if you get paid if you get paid and it's a really good month for you you're always thinking okay like i can't i have to be really quite careful with my spending because who's to say next month is going to be good as well so i think being freelance teaches you about money management and like where to spend your money and is it like is it smart to spend all that money you want to spend this month because you just don't know how the month is going to turn out yeah so i think that's one thing i'm learning a lot about um being freelance but i'm enjoying it to be fair i feel like once i get to start working more and i think maybe because it's just time of year like it's so difficult right now like especially if you're working in a job i know a lot of people get made redundant which is really really hard especially for like the creative industry like it's really hard I always say to people, like, you know what, it's so funny, because people will say, like, you know, like, we don't need, like, journalists are, like, kind of, like, old school, but we don't, like, rely on journalists, but everyone wants press. Isn't it so funny that like, people would love press for their brand and their business, but they don't want to, like, support, like, the brand that they're working for by putting an ad so it continues to live on, because everyone wants that expert, like, tick against their name, that, like, yes, this brand really this journalist and this magazine really love our product or our business but it's a back and forth you can't just rely on them to always write about you they need the support as well i think we should do more to support the creative industry because i feel like there's a lot of funding that goes into other industries but not enough into our own industry because everyone loves to be a creative but don't really know like being a creative is not like the biggest <sighs> you don't earn the most in being a creative i'll tell you that now especially in the beginning of your career like it takes time to actually develop the skills and i'm not i'm not talking about like the influences but i did to be fair I talk about the influence because everyone starts from zero but when you are working in the creative industry the ad industry you have to kind of wait a bit i guess it's the same with every industry but the level of money you get paid to be in this industry 
is not for someone that wants to be a homeowner very quick if I'm saying if you know what I'm saying which is a shame because everyone loves to consume entertainment media and campaigns and activations but the industry is not just supported enough which is a damn shame I hope this makeup stays on my face that is literally the the whole problem and I've timed myself because I've said 30 minutes and it's been about seven minutes right now so I am on track thank god because I could not be in this chair as long as possible because I need to eat the girl needs to eat but happy international women's day guys I hope you guys are doing something good today or literally watching a panel or getting involved I think the last thing I did I don't remember what I did last year for International Women's Day. I think there maybe there was another event that I went to, but in work, when I was working, I always did something. There was always something on. It's just really important to celebrate women because we literally do a lot. And I feel like a lot of people don't realise. I feel like the thing with women is that we do things a lot behind the scenes without being said oh look I did this I did this I did this whereas men shout about it all the time and I get it but sometimes it's not really a shoutable thing just women we take a lot for the team I think what it is and we think of things before especially the things that men don't really think about and we like cover it and it makes them look good but we've actually done the work if you know what I mean so I think women need to realize that that without some of us women we wouldn't be where we are and there's amazing women in our lives that actually support us and do the Lord's work for us. Like, I'm just so grateful for the women that I surround myself with. This makeup has to stay. I'm going to take my, bring my pressed powder along. Because every time I wear glasses, they want to imprint on my face. The brand or the company that invents something that doesn't mess up your makeup when you wear glasses is going to be the company of the future because every girl that wears makeup will be using it because it is the biggest mystery for women right now. Glasses and makeup and imprinting on your face. It is the biggest chore of life. Okay. My no makeup makeup mascara I'm actually really proud of myself because it's literally 10 minutes and I'm done I just need to see my brows and I need to buy lash glue I think I might have to go to Boots or somewhere because there's a specific lash glue that I want but if you guys have a good lash glue let me know because I was just going to go buy my regular um, what's it called I forgot the name of it I get it from Sephora because I've been using it like for so long I feel like when lashes started coming out into the scene like there was a certain lash brand that everyone used to wear and I've literally forgotten the name of it. Okay. And for lips, I'm just literally going to wear... Am I going to wear? Because I don't know where you are. It's probably one of my bags. So I'll look for it later. Okay. I do have this old gloss, but I don't know how... I think it's quite pale, and I don't know if it's really going to be okay. But I was going to straighten my hair, but I kind of like the wave it has. I don't know. I'm just going to put some... Yes, I need to get some serum, actually. Hopefully, I can go to, like, Boots before then and, like, buy some serum, because I just feel like I need a bit of... I need to buy like my essentials that's what I'm missing out on I need to take my glasses with me because I cannot see screens this is what age does to you okay hopefully this looks better now this is like an old gloss but do you know when you had an old gloss but you loved and you haven't worn it in a long time but I don't know how good it is right now okay i'm gonna come back to you when i'm on my way there i'm not sure if i'll take my vlog camera i'm not sure if you'll have cameras but i'll see you guys soon i got here a bit too early so i'm just making my way to boots because i need to get 
some hair serum and there's also something else I want to buy, I can't remember right now so I'm just going to have a look in boots, it starts at 12 so I've got like 50 minutes so I'm just going to explore, luckily it's not raining and I should be in the venue in about an hour Hello, hello, hello everybody, how are we doing? Yeah. Oh. Hi. Hi everyone! Hi. And then next up, awesome. amazing Henry, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Yeah, good, good. Alright, so um, how are we doing? Good, thank you. Good, 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 good. Are we excited for this conversation? Wow, look at this up close, so I think it's about time for us to get into it. Joyce, I'm going to start with you. Which basically just shows that for 10 plus years, you have been fiercely dominating the creative industry. Room. I hope you guys have been learning as much as possible about your creative journeys, YouTube Shorts. Tell you that we did that. Jay Huss will tell you that we did that. We did that. Um, first of all, we've got Mel, he's at a &R at 5k. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> come up, come up, come up. Uh, yeah, this is well. Take a seat. Um, we've got Sandy, who's a music lawyer, sounds advice LNP. Um, we've got Shanae Dennis, who's a music agent and artist manager at Wasserman. Um, and finally, we've got Rami, who runs a digital marketing agency, Two Tabs Social. Guys, I had such a good day yesterday that I couldn't vlog so much. I had to take my phone and my phone literally was running out of storage. I had to delete so many videos from past vlogs. But today I'm on my way to another event. I got invited to go to another event for like a mentoring workshop, just more specifically for what I do. So I'm going to head up to London now. I am so tired. I know my camera battery is literally going to die because I didn't charge it, I don't think. But I need to head up to London. I need to go and literally, I want to go in and out, but my cousin's in town because she has a f layover and she wants us to meet her. So I might just leave that event early and go meet her and then come home because I want to be doing nothing this whole weekend. Like I am so tired, so exhausted. But the events were really, really good, really inspiring, really nice to network and connect with new people, which is always really nice. I got home probably just before 11 or 11 o'clock on the dot from like leaving the house at like nine something yesterday. Like I'm exhausted, super tired, but it was really good. A really good International Women's Day. I will take you guys and show you as much as possible but because it is like a closed workshop I'm not sure how much I can actually show you but I'll update you on my day. I literally am just wearing something so casual because I'm so tired and um, I want to quickly have some breakfast before I go and head back up right to London. <laughs> everyone sorry for not picking up my vlog camera in a couple in the in the recent days hold on S apologies i haven't picked up my vlog camera in a couple of days and that's because i've been working so much um i've literally just been in london meetings just working from home and literally just doing much not doing much so i thought it would be quite boring i do have my friend's birthday meal 
on Sunday we're going to Bagatelle but I am getting ready to go up to London because I am speaking at um, a friend's um, women's event um, which um, I think it starts around 6.30 but she said I should get there for 7 because I'm going to be one of the people speaking with her. She's really sweet, really lovely. I met her through working in music so I'm going to be doing a panel of her and I think it should be like for like... I think maybe 45 minutes and she sent me over the question so it's literally my first speaking engagement <laughs> for the year which I don't remember the last time I actually spoke on a panel I feel like it was maybe before Covid that I did anything like that I just can't remember I have to think but yeah it's nice to actually do my first speaking engagement I did say that I want to actually start speaking more on panels because it has been a while just to get myself familiar of just like being in front of people and talking like to be fair with the job I am now I have to constantly pitch myself so that does help um but like in a large room I need to actually get more of that practice again because I used to do it all the time when I was working in media like presenting to like agencies and stuff so it's just nice to get back into that swing and get more practice in so the networking event is called solitude for success or solitude to success i'll try and leave it down below but i just want to do like light makeup and i'm really happy that my sister gave me this technique of washing my makeup brushes in the washing machine because i know lots of people used to do it but i used to get quite worried with my brushes and thought that you know what these are quite nice brushes like how would they actually be <laughs> like after i've washed them in the washing machine but they've actually turned out pretty all right like for some of them you can still see some of the pigment from the makeup but some of it might be embedded but if you want that extra full cleanness you can go in again but it's worked pretty well i've just put it like in a tight bag put washing up liquid in it put wash tied it up really tight and before I did that, I put washing up liquid in it and then put it on rinse. And I rinsed like 17 minutes. And by the time it came out, it was kind of like mostly dry. I just laid it on my table just to dry even more. But it's the fastest thing because I used to do it by hand. And the girls that still do it by hand, I salute you because I can't do that anymore. Like it just takes way too much time. So I'm just going to do like a light makeup look today. Nothing too serious. I just want to actually look awake. And I, I keep on eating those Costco cookies because I went to Costco yesterday and I keep eating them and that is a definite sign that I am coming on my time of month because there's no way I've had three today. Look, it's actually that bad. Like, I don't know why I'm doing it. But I just thought I haven't spoken to you guys or even got to catch up. Like, I feel like the last time I probably picked up my vlog camera, I can't even remember. I must have been in London. And that was like something work related but i just can't remember and also time mark is coming because this spot i don't know if you guys can see it is absolutely hurting um right now so that's annoying um so i literally wash all my brushes i still have more actually that i need to wash when i used to do makeup um when i used to do mary Kay makeup for people but i don't really do makeup for people anymore like i just retired do you know what some people can really love doing makeup and when people used to say oh, i'm gonna keep doing my makeup we used to be like oh my god like i just don't have the desire to <laughs> but one of my clients asked me back because it was like her service at church and she lives near me so i was like you know what i'll do it just for you but i feel like i'm definitely going to retire that part of my life because doing makeup I think it's just the pressure sometimes because you know makeup is like may bad makeup can annoy me so if i know i'm doing it for someone i make sure that i'm doing it properly and i feel like i want to do stuff that i'm passionate about like if i don't care about it so much i don't really want to do it that's my motto so i don't want to do anything that i don't think is going to make sense so no more doing makeup for people <laughs> um even this brush all right do you know what even so i absolutely hate doing um whenever i do my makeup with make when my makeup brushes are clean it just doesn't make any sense i hate the way it looks like i just feel like i don't know like the makeup in it sometimes gives you that bit of grip i know that sounds nasty but i'm sure i'm not the only one that feels the same way 
and I've actually let this dry down a bit too much but yeah my first speaking panel of the year so many good things are happening for my friends right now like I'm just so happy like it's so crazy like people I was saying I was speaking I don't remember who I was speaking to but sometimes like when you're doing something in a creative field or if you're building a business you can kind of feel that like other things are moving for people but honestly everyone is literally just hustling and riding at the same time it could look like someone is doing the most and right there in their house they are just looking for business like on social media things are such a facade and I feel like that's an, the most important thing that people need to realize that like sometimes things look good but when people are going through it it's not they're not going to show that part of their life so just think sometimes in order to get to certain parts of your life where you feel like you need to be successful or you watch someone's journey and think oh my god how do they get there just have in the back of their mind that it took a lot of blood sweat and tears like you might be seeing a picture and it think for you it might look like they got it easy but one thing i've learned about life nothing good comes easy so don't worry i don't stress about when things are not happening your way really quickly everything will happen at the right time but Listen, my friends are on the move. It's actually nice to be growing up, um, glowing up with people that are doing things at the same pace as you. Because I feel like in terms of networking, everyone wants to network up. But like, how lit is it that at the same time, your friends are moving and doing things at the same time as you? And they're levelling up and you're levelling up until we get to the top together. I feel like that's the best possible scenario. Where is that cost? Do you know what I'm looking for? My triangle path. I can't find that and that is annoying I'm just gonna set under eye I'm not gonna do anything crazy maybe that's even too much oh gosh they've gone everywhere but yeah like always remember like peer-to-peer -peer networking is just as important as trying to like reach up and talk to people but I need to hurry up and get I need to finish getting ready because I want to leave here in the next I'm leaving the next 30 minutes and the way you guys know I can make my vlogs really really long but I actually want to know like do you guys enjoy my long vlogs because I feel like some people either love the long vlogs or some people find them quite annoying and I can understand to an extent but sometimes like when I watch vlogs I keep them on in the background so I don't know if you guys actually prefer me to actually shorten my vlogs to make them 30 minutes but a good one hour vlog sometimes to me is really really nice and I love it and that's why I always continue to do them but I think my last one was probably around 30 minutes it wasn't too long I don't know how long this one will be but with me talking that is where all the minutes are going to okay hopefully it doesn't rain today and I'm nearly done but I'll catch you guys when I'm nearly there hi guys apologies i didn't actually catch you up after i went to speak at the panel the panel went so well like i even got like such amazing feedback which was really really nice but on my way to my friend's birthday dinner it is in i just want to soften this because i feel like i've made it a bit too harsh underneath i'm on, well, on my way to bagatelle i was literally just doing my hair and straightening it i just need to put a bit of serum in the hair i need to get a new one of these because my hair is just feeling super dry in all seriousness i just need a new um in all seriousness i just need a new closure for this wig because then I feel like my hair will be a lot thicker and like the lace I've had to manipulate this lace so much but I feel like it's okay I've done the best that I can and I've done my makeup today and I decided that I'm gonna start wearing eyeshadow again because I'm actually a growing woman I don't know why I don't my eyeshadow especially when I'm going out for like nice meals so I'm just gonna go in with the Krylon spray just a bit I feel like I need to get another one of these because summer is coming and for my lips I feel like I'm going to do same old same old a bit well I don't know if I should experiment I'm wearing actually this Zara Jess that I got in my last vlog 
but I'm not sure I've actually showed you guys what I actually got it's like this cargo dress I'll try and show it after this I'll just make sure my hands are clean I don't know if I should do like a pink lip or keep it nude like I normally always do like I'm quite boring when it comes to my lips I kind of have the standard lip combo and that's because I feel like it works well for me maybe I should try a new gloss routine but I feel like every time I try a new gloss routine I hate it like it just makes me feel like ugh, why did I do that um I'm gonna go in actually and do an old where are you I feel like you're the new one I need the old one I feel like I'm a bit of a mess because I don't know where anything actually is I've actually got this as well so maybe i should put that on top of this i'm just putting rich travel like i normally do and i'm gonna go on with this and if this doesn't look good i will change it up i think this is nice kind of looks similar to something i always do but oh well so that is my makeup done really do like it sometimes because i've actually done makeup let me quickly show you the zara stuff that i bought so in last vlog in case i didn't show you and i don't think i did this is the dress that i'm wearing tonight i got it in a large because i felt like it came up small so if you follow me on my tiktok you guys would have seen it already because i've actually showed you my zara haul i only got two dresses so this is the cargo dress it's a mini dress it has the two pockets here i think it was originally what is it it's 35.99 and it has like a zip so it goes all the way down so you can determine how low you want it to be so this is one i'm wearing tonight so i'm going to put that there and this is the cream version oh this is the cream version but it's in a slightly different material and also the buttons are more visible on the outside um, again the short sleeve is the midi and it really hugs your body the zip is also covered underneath here and you can determine how long um how low you want the zip to be but i might save this for a holiday later in the year mainly because of the color and i feel like it's time of month soon so what i was gonna wear this color but i felt like if i come on which hopefully i don't at least i'm wearing like a darker color so i won't be like in trouble do you know what i mean like any accidents there won't be hopefully um but i am literally i'm gonna take this this i'm not taking you i'm actually just gonna quickly remove this because i don't always need to keep this on for that long anymore and then I'm just going to get this bronzer just to blend everything out. Then normally what I do is uh, I just get a concealer a teeny bit. Actually, I feel like there's some left over. And I put the excess just for my part. And I'm just going to follow the already existing line. Which I think is better so it doesn't make it too harsh. Yeah, I don't need to edit it. that is the look i'll show you this is the best my makeup has ever looked in quite a long time and i also trimmed some of my lace that was showing too much before but this makeup eats i really feel like i want to show you guys my updated routine is that a bit of what is that oh it's a spot no wonder i really want to show you guys my updated routine but i don't know whether i should do it on youtube or tiktok but yeah really happy with how my makeup looks today and when i get to bagatelle you guys will know if i can vlog in there i'll try and vlog in there but i feel like today it's like midnight mass or something like that so it's gonna be a lot of music so i'm just gonna literally be vlogging or using my phone because of the music and copywriting and i feel like that's one thing that really makes me really annoyed about youtube is like it's the copyright like you're having a good time you're having a good conversation but you have to block it out because of the copyright issues i need to be out this house in 15 minutes i've eaten a bit because i've heard the food at bagatelle is a bit up and down 
so I'm gonna try and see what it's like um, luckily I've eaten so if I don't like it at least it's not all that bad but I'll try and show you my outfit okay guys okay guys this is the dress that I'm wearing on really do love the color I need to remember to bring like a small brush with me and I feel like I'm just gonna end up wearing these cycling shorts because I don't have time for any slippages but I don't know if it will actually show through here do you know what where are my sucking pants hold on yeah I'm wearing these these are the sucking pants from skims the only thing is that they are a thumb bottom I'm not due to come on so I feel like this should be okay hold on I need to look like I don't have a waist even though this dress does help a lot okay now for bag I'm not sure what to bring this is it right or is it like this yeah you guys will probably see my outfit now I look a bit like orange and that's because of the hue but this is a dress really love it bag not sure if this bag goes well if I just take a black bag I feel like this is a bit too casual I always take my set the job, but I'm so bored of it. What's this bag like? This looks cute, actually. But annoyingly, I want to wear black heels. So I don't know if black heels with this bag goes. If I want to wear this bag, I'd have to wear my lubes. I'm not in actually, I'm not in the mood to wear my lubes. I haven't put earrings on either but because this is like silver I don't want to put gold because then there's also gold here normally I don't mind mixing my metals but I feel like I don't want to do that this is quite nice this bag but it's because it's got I need a bag with silver hardware that's a bag I need to, uh, the black bag is better isn't it What do you guys think? I feel like if I wear this with my nude heels, it would look so nice. But the only, I just, I'm just not in the mood to wear my loops. Do you know what? Let me just wear this bag with the heels and see what it looks like.
hi guys so i've just got back from an evening out at bagatelle i actually had a really nice time and i was a bit skeptical about the food at first because i haven't always had the best but the service was really good and also the food was quite nice too i actually quite enjoyed it but i don't think the palette will probably be for everyone but it is literally nearly 10 to midnight now hold on it is it's basically nearly 10 minutes to midnight i want to take off this makeup and get back to bed but my makeup's still looking okay and intact just a bit oily it got super busy in the evening time i feel like <laughs> it gets really really busy and there's just loads of people there um, in the evening so it's nice like if you like the london lifestyle scene but for me like something local is always gonna be better for me so i'll catch you guys in another video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank you guys for tuning in to another video i will see you guys in the next one bye